and welcome to RVTravelTV.com. Today we are uh, pleased to announce that we're interviewing the owners of Escape Industries. They're the makers of um, Escape trailers, they're travel trailers, fiberglass RVs, and they are the best well-made small trailers out there. And uh, we're looking forward to kind of asking them questions and just getting their viewpoints on uh, basically their business and their models and their products and what's going on. So without any huge intro, Here's uh, Tammy and Reese from Escape Industries. How are you guys doing? Good. That's it? You're just doing good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talking. And then we also have um, the moderator from Escape Forum, who is Glenn Bagelow, and he's going to assist in uh, asking questions as well. So um, let's start with uh, the Escape people here. And um, so why don't you guys talk about you? You know your your product and, and what you're doing and what makes you guys a little bit different than everybody else. You go ahead. That's your turn. What we're doing? Well, we build fiberglass RV trailers. Um, uh, you go ahead. Sorry. Right. I think we're different. Focuses on lightweight molded fiberglass trailers. Um, we like to, we custom build the trailers for our customers. So Reese and I started the company in 2003. Uh, we started manufacturing and slowly over time we first introduced the 17 foot and then in 2009, 2000, yeah, 2007 we introduced the fifth wheel. 2009, um, as the company continued to grow and kind of the reputation um, that we created for ourselves continued to grow, we we added uh, uh, 15 and a, or 13 and a 19 foot, and then in 2010 we introduced our 15 foot trailer. Um, so we continue to manufacture. Uh, currently have 26 employees that help us. Um, build our trailers and yeah it just it goes next week we're having a rally in a soyuz and glenn's coming we're trying to talk you into coming jeff but <laughs> yes yeah, it's that's a bit of a drive for me so yeah. oh come on there's people from texas coming up yeah texas colorado yeah but um everyone's getting together next week we're meeting in a soyuz which is kind of it's over the mountains which means hopefully a little bit of sunshine a little bit of um, warm weather you know a nice change of pace and we just spend the weekend together a um, bunch of our suppliers have donated door prizes so we'll be handing those out and potluck dinner um, all that all that fun stuff that we'll be getting together and doing over the next little bit well so now uh, your, your trailers are well, we got a little feedback there going from somebody. Um, your trailers can be pulled by any um, V6 kind of car or van SUV, right? I mean, the, the they're they're very lightweight. They're full fully functional. Can you kind of explain, you know, what's inside them when they what's like a typical build or something like that? Yes. Okay, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> We and were, you thought he was the strong, silent type, eh? That yeah. Just solidified that right now. You know, it's no, no, it is. I'll just ask him the fluff question. He'll give you all the hard questions, and then he'll come back in and he'll say, I know how to fix that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, no, um, you are right. Uh, V6 engine or V6 is what we ask or recommend for towing. I mean, the 13 foot escape. Or we'll start with the 15 without a bathroom. It has a dry weight of 1,600 pounds. So, you know, most people are more than capable of towing that. Everyone carries six to 800 pounds worth of cargo, depending, you know, where they're going, how long they're going for, how many people, etc. And so six to 800 pounds brings you up to about 2,400 pounds. So a towing capacity, you know, 25, 3,000 pounds is, is more than sufficient. Mm -hmm. And then the largest trailer that we build is the fifth wheel. Um, and it's it's the heaviest. It weighs 2,600 pounds. So it's geared, though, towards a mid-sized truck um, with a towing capacity in around that 4,000, 5,000 pound range. Mm -hmm. And, and um, how many trailers do you guys typically 
build in a year, would you say? Because they're all handmade. They're made from scratch, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got the Elzo back. No. Uh. <laughs> no. Um, we moved last year. So with the move, um, in preparation of our move, we really focused on refining everyone's role and got ready for the expansion. We took advantage of closed quarters, tight quarters, and uh, training purposes. <laughs> and and when we moved, we were able to kind of add a few more production spots to, I want to say, to the build process, mm -hmm. in a sense. And in, and that's allowed us, last year we manufactured 133 trailers. Um, this year our goal is 140. Uh, ultimately, recent I, you know, that's that's our comfort level, in about that range. That's mm -hmm. that's enough for the two of us to manage. And, and, and so I have actually, I think I have some pictures out here. Um, you can talk talk this through a little bit. Um, so that's that's the 15 foot, right? That's the one you were saying. That's no, that's that's the 13. 13 foot. Okay. Yeah, which which is off the. It's manufactured by request only. Okay, so it's no longer it's a it's, you don't make them all the time. You just when a special request. Yeah, what we found when we introduced the fifteen foot for us the time and the inventory materials that went into building the thirteen, the comparison between the thirteen and fifteen really, um, you know, really was so close that it was hard to justify the pricing on that one. And most people, when they looked at that price difference, which is important to everyone, the 15 foot is the trailer they went for. So yeah, the 13 is by request only. Okay, and then, uh, so I guess that's a, that's a 17 foot? Correct, right. yeah, that's a 17. And those, um, and those can have a bathroom in it, correct? Yes, um, probably 98% of the 17 foot trailers we make do have the bathroom in it. Um, usually every year we only manufacture two or three that are a non-bathroom unit. Okay, and let's see, we got... That's 19. Your, nine, and that was just introduced, what, two years ago or three years ago? Um, three years ago. In 2009 we introduced that trailer. Um, we initially had two separate floor plans and then when the first 33 orders went through, everyone ordered this floor plan. So. We, we just we didn't bother with certifying the going through the certification process for the second plan and just stayed with this one so now if I don't know if you're if, um, I'm not even speaking any words right now uh, I was gonna say these if you notice these are are two separate molded shells that are kind of put together correct Reese is that how the the, the process process yeah, works? we're a little bit more different than, than all the other campers trailers, boats type, you know, construction, we have the two halves, but before we pull them out of the mold, we stack the molds on top of each other, bolt them together, then they're seamed, and then and then that whole body is pulled out as a unibody. So we have the, the center, center band on there, but it's only on there for cosmetic purposes. So, um, and you know, it's, it's a different process. It's just... Um, it eliminates one more leak source. Yeah, and then you just cut the holes for all the windows and everything uh, out of the shells. Right. right. That's amazing. I mean, it's absolutely waterproof. <laughs> and that's the the five o, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, the fifth level is gaining popularity. I would have to say the central states, the east coast, very very popular. Yeah. Right now, um, you, you know what I think it's probably our personal favorite. Right. Um, just because how it tows the room that it has more than enough. Uh, we used that trailer last year. We went to Disneyland, so down the Oregon California coast, and spent just over three weeks in the trailer as a family of four, <laughs> and we still came back as a family still of four. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know, it's, what's good about the five O is that first of all, it utilizes the entire the, the hitch doesn't really eat into the space, right? And then yeah. the overhead camper is you know if you do have kids, they can hang out in there on the, the, the on the bed area while you're cooking, or if it's raining out or whatever you want to do. So it kind of makes it a more efficient kind of uh, setup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost got a second second separate bedroom. Right. Yeah. 
No, it's nice. Okay, well, let's see. Um, so, Glenn, I think I muted you, so we might want to unmute you. It's at the top. <laughs> That's the wrong button. Uh oh. Did no, you lose him? No, I didn't lose him. He's you hit. There's a, a microphone button, and then there's a button for your oh, camera. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Well. So. Uh, I'm learning. Yeah, exactly. So, you, do you have any questions for uh, Tammy and Reese at any point? Do you have? I because you actually own you own a 17 foot, right? Yeah, 17B, and um, I was looking over the list of uh, attendees uh, for the escape rally, and holy cow, I think there's only one uh, participant that's actually had the trailer longer than me. That's I, I'm 2008, and I didn't see anybody other than a 2004. Yes. So, uh, yeah, it's um, this year we've got a lot of new people. Um, I think we seem to this year be colliding with a lot of grad like reunions um, that are that are happening this weekend, and since everyone's like, oh, they're gonna come next year, but that's all right. You know what? You can be you can be the display your trailer, Leslie. I like that. You guys can show the trailer off and tell everyone what you do and why you do that. <laughs> yeah, like how there's no holes. <laughs> how you don't drill things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, really. I mean, that paper towel holder is still... <laughs> I'll give Reese a screwdriver. <laughs> it's hanging a little bit, but, you know, I, I might get his advice on adding some screws. But I, the other, I I also needed to get some advice on, um, you know, because I drained the hot water tank and all that stuff. And I've done that now three times. But every time I go to fill it up again, the one thing that worries me is, is the hot water tank full? And um, so Reese told me to use the pressure release valve to determine if uh, water's coming out. And I did that, but the water seemed to be aerated, which made me unsure of whether I had accomplished the task of filling the hot water tank. That would be a blank, that's a blank <laughs> stare there. I like that, that's great. What I do when we dewinterize a unit is, is um, usually I'll fill the uh, freshwater tank, get that running where it's at least one third full, uh, go in, turn the water pump on, and then um, close all the taps first, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll open that um, pressure relief valve, and that way, once it fills up, it starts, you know spewing all the uh, there's you know there's there's a little bit of water left in that tank plus the sediment and it'll help actually help kick that out um, and once that fills up and starts spitting out I'll actually take the you know I'll shake the trailer um, you know just grab the corner and, and I'll just start shaking it side to side and then you'll you'll hear it gurgling and it'll spit out more air and it'll it'll actually fill up more of the tank uh, with water, so once that's spitting out not aerated water anymore, uh, then close the valve and start opening up your other uh, your taps. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's, it's a way to uh, to help flush your tank before it, it actually gets all into your water lines. So I didn't fill my fresh water tank. I just was running straight into the city water, and I turned that on and then I opened all the hot water uh, taps and then I went out and opened the pressure release for the hot water and had aerated water seals and I could fill the uh, fresh water tank before I start start all that. Yeah, yeah, like you say, I mean, it all it all works. I mean, you're 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 achieving everything the same. Which I like to to let the hot water tank flush. Yeah. Um, 
before you open your taps and let the, the water into the lines then. Um, you know, and I'll let that sit and, and spit out of that pressure relief valve for well, a good couple minutes. Um, you know, and that just helps to, like you say, clears all the sediment, not all of it, but it, it, it gets it churned up pretty good and spitting out of there. So, um, yeah, and then, like I say, it just, you know, you may want to open or undo the tap tips there, clean your screens out, because you'll see sediment will have got through the hot water. What screens? Like on your tap <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like it's like their screens. I, I didn't. <laughs> no, it's perfect. Oh, that's good. So, uh, good. I'm always I'm reassured by the fact that you're going to be up at the escape rally. <laughs> you can lure him in. I forget who last I year. Know, I know how that. <laughs> works. Why I do hard. have to admit, and a lot of times it's, when we go through, it's not really that hard. <laughs> when, we, when we go through the orientations with people, I like usually throw in a lot of uh, what not to do's yeah. tips, um, and it's usually because I've learned from experience. You know, and it's you know, so I mean, I've done it wrong probably more than most people. So um, if if it's breakable, I've broken it. So experience experience is what do they say experience of hard knocks or whatever I don't know. that's that's how we learn yeah. I think one time funny story real quick funny story yeah one time we were we were in our first season I think we'd only built three or four trailers and there was only myself and and one employee and um, the lady came in and, and you know of course she was she was looking at the trailer and trailer we only had one um, and she was asking uh, how we'd started and, and did we go to trailer building school? And I and I and I looked at my my guy working with me. And I said I looked back at her and I said, "There's a trailer building school." <laughs> and now and, and now you wish you went to it. <laughs> oh, we were looking for a phone number. Uh, it was good fun. Now. Uh, People, when they order their trailers, you're one of the few people that actually lets them kind of pick the fabric or, you know, do customizations and, and, and just really kind of make it personalized for them. Um, does that put a, a more of a strain on the operations or is it just something you say, hey, this is what, this is what differentiates us from the, you know, everyone else out there doing this? Um, I would have to say it takes a lot more planning to make that available. Um, you know, timelines are so important because we, you know, like to make that stuff available, sometimes you call one time someone wants something and you call and it's right there, you're able to get it the next day, and another time you may have to wait three weeks. So, I mean, we do have not, well, I'll say timelines in the production where we let the, st let the customers know you know, if you're going to change the fabric or the formica, you know, it has to be done at, by this time. And if you, you know, if you want to change this, it needs to be done by this time. Um, I think that's definitely different than some of the manufacturers. We don't build them in runs. Um, every single trailer that we ba make is, is different. So even in production, the trailer in uh, one bay is going to be different than the trailer behind it and the dif different than the trailer ahead of it. So in a normal plant, you could have the same person put three screws in and, you know, that person's always responsible for those three screws. Uh, our staff are different, I think, because they do have to focus on everything, you know, their checklist and go through and make sure we cross-reference with the build sheets. So. I, think, I think our philosophy right from day one has been, you know, we don't want to get too big where we can't work one-on-one -on -one with the customer. Definitely. Um, you know, it, as soon as we start building, you know, I don't know what number you want to put on it, but, you know, let's say we start building five or a thousand trailers, 500 or a thousand trailers a year, now we don't have the time to sit down, we've got to build a cookie cutter trailer, this is what we build, you'd have to take it, whereas what we like, we like working with the customer one-on-one, -on -one. and our philosophy always is, it's your it's trailer. It's your trailer. Yeah. It's not our trailer. So we have one standard fabric, and we can have five different fabrics, and you might not like any of them. So we have one that's 
works pretty well, um, but you know, people like to have fun with with designing their trailers and and but it you know, can we also enjoy be, it too. I mean, we had recently those Umbra hooks. Um, you know, one one customer found some hooks and she posted a photo. Well, it seemed that you know the next eight nine people all ordered those hooks we you know like people call and so it's that cross-reference that networking it's gone viral it's gone viral <laughs> Jeff it's gone viral well that's you know but that's that's a testament to how you guys work I mean because you take the input from your customers and it directly affects your product line and you build it that way you know and that's yep. that's that's really a nice way of um, you know kind of doing things and they can trade they can actually change the decal on the outside of their trailers if they wanted to and, and put yeah. their own names on it. Well, I mean, we, yeah. we've got to draw a line sometimes, though. I mean, sometimes people, you know, the form is great, but people will customize on their own um, and post those, and then people come and ask us to do those. And sometimes people, I mean, I have to hand it to them, and people are, are, are pretty skillful uh, woodworkers and, and creative and, and have the time. Um, to do some nice additions to the trailer, but you know, it's a little bit above what we can do. Right. Um, you know, and I, and I said to some people, I like, please don't post that because I'm going to put your phone number beside it. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Glenn, I mean, how, how long did it take you to drill a hole into the trailer? You Everything, everything you put up was basically oh. with you know, adhesive hooks, I mean, right? So yeah, you, I use adhesive pads. Um, for pretty much everything. In fact, even the stuff that I have, well, I've only screwed one thing into the trailer wall, and that is a uh, magnetic knife uh, holder. And I applied the adhesive to that, the adhesive pads to the back of that before I screwed it to the wall. I also inquired as to how far, how long is through I could actually put in there without penetrating the bathroom wall. All right. And uh, I got that information from Reese. And so I think, quite frankly, there's only one thing and that's a knife block or knife, <laughs> magnetic knife uh, holder that I have that I actually drilled holes. And the uh, paper towel holder is above the sink and it's still held on by adhesive pads. And it was hanging down a little bit on one edge, and I mean like an eighth of an inch maybe. So I thought I might address that in the coming years. <laughs> I can bring a couple screws then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yes. I'll, I'll make sure they're not three inch. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes, it goes up into the upper cupboard, so um, I didn't want, you know, a sharp edge on the top. But um, I'm sure I can deal with it. But right, with your help. <laughs> yeah. So now, when, when they order a trailer, it's it's is it a, it, they, I mean it's it's ordered and then you build it, right? So it's pretty much you build as they, you build it out as they order it. Is it like what's the what's the wait time in terms on you know doing something? Um, right now it's not too bad. Different times of the year have different weights. Um, I think different seasons. Every year is slightly different. So right now we're taking orders for July and August, uh, depending on the model that you're interested in. Um, we try to base our annual production schedule based on off of the previous year's sales um, for numbers and everything. Um, it's you know what? It, I, yeah, everything's everything's different. Like. We, what we're finding now with the form and the more trailers we have out there, when people call and inquire and then, you know, they're thinking, they're looking at the options, they're looking at what other people have done, they call us and they they place their order, but then they go back and now you're thinking, what do I want? And then right. we always giggle because we send people away with more questions actually than what they came in looking for. <laughs> So they basically so they they kind of go in and they uh, they start thinking about what they just did and said okay now I want to add this and 
you have certain periods where you say up to this date you we can take these changes and then going forward you kind of like you're in casting yeah. concrete kind of thing huh yeah and and everyone does i you know like i know sometimes we get crit not criticized but people comment that oh i saw this you didn't tell me this was available and then i was reading on the forum and it's there um the customers that i have to say the customers that we have are amazing like they get in they think it through they network through they they research what they want and so it's not a spur of the moment purchase right um when they come to us some of their ideas are custom specific to their trailer so we do have to have deadlines on some stuff because you don't ever want to go backwards in in the build but we do try and think ahead and work through and that's where the communication part i mean i'd have to say we both really, really try. I mean, yeah. a lot of everyone I think out there will say they've received phone calls from us at like 8, 9 o'clock at night, you know, or early in the morning because we need to make sure that we're clear and and understanding what, what it is the customer wants. So um, just a couple more questions and we can just wrap it up and or Glenn has some more questions. Um, well, I first of all, I have to say that this forum... I wish it had been around when I bought my trailer, and I wish I'd had the opportunity to input and get input from all the other owners out there, because when I bought my trailer, all I wanted to do was get my deposit in so that I would get my trailer by January or July the 7th. And <laughs> because I was going on vacation and I wasn't aware of how much Reese and Tammy do and will customize a trailer and I didn't have the ideas that are on the forum either so it so I'm still satisfied with the trailer <laughs> we can always we can always build you a new one <laughs> <laughs> That is the case, right? That's what people do. They they always go bigger rather than going down smaller. Um, well, sometimes we've had a few people go smaller. No, we're we're, we're not one of them. <laughs> uh, so you recently had a uh, I think you had a price reduction in your your trailers, and and that's one one of the nice things that you guys do when you were able to get better deals from your vendors, you actually kind of push them down to the customer. Yeah, yeah. Um, just always being the little guy, we're not at the top of the, I want to say the top of the food chain, so sometimes pricing, we, we have to ask questions and, and work. Well, last year with our production increasing, right, building that 133, it just allowed us that opportunity that when we went to buy inventory, we were kind of up that next level, right? right. Um, with that, our pricing was reduced because our quantities were more. And as that inventory started coming in, you know, we, what a better way to give back to the customer, right, was to reduce the pricing. And, I mean, some there's been a couple more, you know, Reese just got some great pricing on the uh, solar panels. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, like it's it's something that's always changing. I mean, we we don't have like everything's going to change December first. It's as we benefit, the customers benefit. Yeah, definitely. So so let's just talk about the rally really quick, and then we'll kind of wrap it up. If that's okay with you guys. So, are you excited about the uh, first of all? When is it again? And how many people are signed up for it? <laughs> Um, the rally is June 1st to 3rd in the Soyuz at the Inkme Campground. We reserved 60 sites this year, and so far I've got a little bit of number discrepancy. Uh, I have 52 people registered, and Inkme has 54 people registered, um, which is great. Um, <laughs> we'll figure out who's not, who's <laughs> there. <laughs> When we arrive, uh, we try, Soyuz is a beautiful little community. Um, everyone talks about Home Depot, uh, there's Home libraries. Hardware. Not Home Depot. Home Hardware, sorry. Thanks, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you know, it's just one of those communities that's so neat to walk around. And last year, it was so good, the rally being there. One of the big guys went and I said, oh, what did you do today? Well, I went for a massage, whereas all the ladies, of course, a group of us got together and hit some of the wineries. And other people went fishing, some went cycling, golfing. It's just a great time to get together and visit with people and see people that we haven't had the opportunity to, to hang out with. And Reese and I get the opportunity to thank our customers, right? right. So it's fun. Yeah, and then uh, if I remember correctly, because I, I did go to the first one, Reese was running around, uh, you know, kind of helping people out and showing them how to do stuff. So it's really kind of educational as well, and um, everyone gets together. So that, that's pretty pretty cool. Um, so you want to – how, how can people order uh, a, an escape trailer? Do they just go to, to your website? Uh, yeah, yeah. They can just contact us, um, tell us what model they want, and then we work with them to – secure their completion date and then place the order and work through the build sheet all the options that are available to them make sure that they're aware very very straightforward um, you know we have trailers being delivered to New Brunswick and New York coming up the second week of June right. and there's trailers going to Texas and California too so yeah you don't you phone you get us we don't have salespeople um, yeah and if you don't get us, we really are busy. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, and that's the other thing, because I forgot to mention, you guys are, are, are out of Chilliwack, British Columbia, which is right next to Vancouver, basically, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're about an hour out from Vancouver. Yeah, and so it's either they you can have the trailer delivered, or they can come and pick it up and go through, like, a walkthrough and make it an adventure, so. Um, yeah. I actually, just so everyone, yeah. yeah, so everyone knows, we actually bought an escape trailer and we drove up there and you guys did the, the most amazing job of taking two people from San Francisco Bay Area who has absolutely no idea about anything and uh, turning us into campers. And uh, I remember driving around with uh, Reese and he's like, I'm trying to dial in the um, Prodigy disc controller, and he's like, uh, "Just step on the brakes." I'm going like, well, "I don't know," you know. So yeah, it worked out really well. You guys treated us so nicely up there, so I really appreciate that. I think you guys built the best product you know, for uh, fiberglass trailers, you know, hands down. No one else, you know, does the build quality, makes it look so, you know, actually it's so cool. It's you know, it's nice. It's really nice. So I highly suggest, you know. An escape trailer mm -hmm. from personal experience. So, but thank you so much. And Glenn, you got any last comments before I shut you down? <laughs> Not really. Just uh, carry on. Carry on. Mm -hmm. Oh, both of you. All right. We're gonna get you to do an orientation video again, Glenn. Okay. Yeah, we. You should get credit, Jeff. Glenn did the orientation video that everyone looks at on the forum. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, it was it was Glenn's desire to have that. He he put a lot of work into that, and I mean, a lot of people have watched that video, and you know, we still appreciate that Glenn did that for us. It is yeah, definitely time to update it. Pardon? It is definitely time to update it. Yes, that's. But right. this time, Reese is doing all the talking, not me. <laughs> oh, but he's not as pretty. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I look back and I see the young wife that I did have. <laughs> Can you yeah. hear that? There you he go. He turned 40, okay? He yeah, did turn so 40. Yeah, now well, you... the old bag 65. Yes. Oh, please. you're not supposed to. Oh, really? Happy birthday, Leslie. Oh, that's yeah, great. That is great. She doesn't look it at all. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to wrap this up. So uh, let me just kind of uh, do one last thing, and then I'll close down the browser, and, and we'll be good to go. So, again, thank you so much. Um, Escape Industries uh, make the best uh, fiberglass trailers for small small RVs, man. It's, it's, just, it's just fantastic. So I am just going to close this down. Thank you so much for the show, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Thanks Jeff. Thanks.